Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. Dr. Merrill Unger, in his book, Demons in the World Today, writes regarding astrology and moral decline. He says this, The upsurge in astrological interest is unmistakable evidence of moral and social decay. Occultism rises ominously in times of world turmoil, religious apostasy, and moral decline. Astrology is booming, and like almost everything else, it is being computerized. Maybe you do not know it because you may not be tied into the web of underground information that's available through the whole realm and, uh, and, and workings of astrologers. It is incredible. It is, as it were, like the, like the uh, captivating appeal of gambling. There are many that can get their hands into it, and suddenly they're caught, and they cannot get out of it. Unger mentions, and for sake of time, I won't go into it, even a minister who went into it in a, in a period of time in his life, and he found himself captivated, caught up in it, driven by it, and unable to, give a, uh, to, to, uh, to restrain it, to hold back after a period of time. Now, I, I realize as I speak of card laying and Ouija board and uh, prophetic visions and dreams, the whole realm of Jean Dixon and her kind, that to many of you, uh, you're saying, why take our time? We're not involved in it. I think you'd be surprised. I think the congregation tonight would be absolutely shocked to know how many people in this place tonight take, at least in the back of their mind, a bit seriously, the whole realm of astrology and the horoscope. It's just appealing enough to swarm around us and to capture us, to grab our attention. I close with a real historic illustration of a man who sought the future because he was scared to death of the present. He was a king, and he sought the wisdom, as he called it, of a spiritist, a witch, who lived in a city named Endor. You who know the story know that when Saul came and went through the process of calling up Samuel from the dead and listening to his voice, it was a terrible, awesome experience, which led ultimately, according to 1 Chronicles 10.13, to the death of King Saul. A simple beginning, which led to a tragic ending, perhaps prompted only by a curiosity and fantasy. I warn you tonight, in the midst of a summer, where it's easy to let our guard down, especially you that have been left alone, widowed, seeking companionship, you that have experienced the heartache of a tragedy in your romance, perhaps, thinking you have found God, uh, your life's mate, you have not. You are, you are natural prey for something like this. It isn't a funny thing. You that are young and, are, and are, have active minds and are interested in magic and the whole realm of the deep and even black magic, I warn you, there's a very fine line between the fun things of games such as that and the noose that wraps itself around you and finally will take you, spiritually as well as physically. I'm very concerned that we not lose our discernment in the day of the flies. Curiosity in the occult can lead to tragedy. What you think of as harmless and innocent fun, like tarot cards, Ouija boards, and astrology, can quickly escalate to the point where you're involved, spiritually and physically. Chuck Swindoll says, watch out for the enemy. He not only plays dirty, he plays for keeps, and he's playing for your soul. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Watch Out for the Enemy, was copyrighted in 1975 
and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2012 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.